on the map. We're back in. We have to wait for the 20 second, like people are joining, choosing their team. Let's see if the ladders work. Now this isn't a final quality for the uh, lighting. The game freezes like crazy. And the gun is black because we don't have any uh, cube map set up. So uh, no reflections can be done. And quite awkwardly, I placed the ladder in the wrong spot. But we can confirm that the ladder is in a uh, different area. Obviously, the uh, lighting is weird on some of these objects. Once again, it's not final lighting. I mean, it's only being lit by the skylight. Lighting in here. Seems to be perfectly fine. So yeah, let's go and uh, fix that. So let's close out of that. Let's open this up. And as you can see, the ladder text is going in the wrong direction. So I'm going to do an angle like that. Let's make this local. I don't know how overlapping ladders work, but we're just going to assume it's going to work perfectly fine. So now let's transform that up. Place it there, rotate it the same amount the other direction. Looks good to me. Because the player should be going along the, uh, like that direction. So hopefully they won't uh, hit their head. That is one thing that could happen. So let me actually rotate it more that way the player should not be able to hit their head at all that looks good uh, now one thing is we are missing lights in here so I'm going to go back in here I'm just going to grab my uh, light let's drag that in I'm going to drag it there Let's stick it up top. Let's go into uh, the path tracing mode. You know, it's hard to see. That's the fall off. So we got that one there. Let's go over and place an unedited version. Let's place the unedited version uh, down here at the bottom. Just so we got some light down there. And also place one up at the top. And 
And if this light, I think I'm going to center it more, bring it up. And uh, yeah. So we got that right there. And the ladders uh, should work. Uh, going up and doing that. Now we do, I am wondering what's up with these faces here and why they uh, look so weird. It's probably something with the uh, mesh itself and how weirdly it was uh, made. But I think this would be a good spot for me to place down some different lights. So I am going to place down. Whoops. An Omni light here. And let me make sure that is centered. Let's select the light, please. Oh, object mode. Der. They're centered to me. So right now it's kind of a uh, you know big point light. Let's bring that down. Let's bring in the inner angle. You know, let's tune the fall off a bit. Doesn't need to go out that far. Let's go over here and let's you know cast baked shadows. And there is a way to have the light be animated. Ah. We can change the type of light it is. It can be a sphere. It can be a tube. I think a tube looks pretty good. Tube with end caps. I think we'll do that and we should uh, rotate it a little bit. And probably not have it be partially clipping in the ceiling. That might be a something. So we got that. And because it's a tube. I'm going to increase its influence just so it can go, you know, up and all the way around. You know, like that. Uh, I think a point light. I think we run into less issues with it being a point light. But it's definitely too bright.
And I would like to change the color of this light. You never, you never really want to do uh, straight up white lights. Uh, kind of yellowish orangish light lights are kind of what it is in real life. Not a lot of places have straight up white lights. Uh, cancel. So I'm just going to pick Uh, I kind of want a warm color. So there's that. Now I'm going to select that light. And bring it to the other ones. Make sure it's centered, but I feel like I centered that immediately. Like first try. Whoops. So what I just did there was a uh, middle mouse click. All right, we got our lights around the environment. And I say uh, what's next is we have a site up there. But now we want to have uh, B site. And B site, I can probably place. My idea was it kind of being uh, underground. So I am going to make some cuts in the floor. Uh, but I'm not going to screw up the cuts this time. Because I've kind of learned. You know, instead of doing that, there's a better way of uh, doing it that I wasn't doing for some reason. But first, let's, uh, you know, the player can get in here. Definitely should be uh, moving that over. Okay, I'm in face mode. Let's move that over. Uh, we can probably get rid of the info player. Let's add the tube up from the terrorist side. So CTs, they should be able to get to the points the fastest. So they're going to go like, if they want to get to B, they're going to go straight up there. But I'm not going to put any cover here so someone can pick them off. Although I might need to place, you know, some cover to if they move a little bit. But the terrorists, I want them to be able to go up here. Uh, I'm going to do it a different way. I'm going to do this. I'm just going to do backspace. Uh, that way it is all one giant plane like it was before. Although it seems like we have to keep some of that there. Uh, like the line and stuff. Or not. And that one we do. I guess. But because that bothers me that the two sites are now different, let's just do this. You know what? We don't we don't need to do that. We don't need to do that. This could cause weird issues with the lighting. I mean you never know. But over here, I am going to you know select all these faces right here. And good thing we kind of know the placement. Like we already got our ver uh, our uh, vertical lines here. We just need to get the width. So I'm going to do my uh, Shift X, and I'm going to place it here. You want to do uh, keep both. The reason why I'm doing that is they're going to go in. We're going to go up and back. That way they can't immediately go right to the point. Place that there. Space. has a good amount space so we got that what I'm gonna do kind of as a preview is now I'm gonna extrude it in but I can double select I can uh, select these edges right here and do F to bevel them
and make, you know, a different type of uh, tube. So that's hard. That's how it was before. Let's do uh, 0.5. There's kind of a shape uh, steps I can probably decrease. Or you can go crazy on it. I'd say for this one, let's go for that. Oh, that is different shaped than this one. It's not as smooth, but this one has a obscene amount of polys on it. And I'd say that this right here is perfectly fine. But we're going to do this step at the end. That way I can work with a square shape and not have it be uh, you know entirely screwed. So let's go to the side view here. And it's kind of hard to see uh, where our thing is. It's right here. But I'm going to select the face. I'm going to bring it out to kind of where I had the uh, first one. And instead, I'm going to have it rotate to the left, then go up. So we're in our top-down view. I'm going to move, by pushing insert, I'm going to move the pivot point. Uh, here, let me make the uh, steps bigger. I'm going to move the pivot point by pushing uh, insert. Something like there. Do shift. Boom. Shift G, shift G, shift G, shift G, shift G. There's the curve. Now, we're going to go, we have this side view. Let's go to front view. And we have our shape there. I think we can do. Eh, it's probably not the best. We got it right there. You know what? I'm just going to make this down here front view. Let me save. We're going to go right here. We have our front view. And we are just going to, you know, T the ledge we want to be on. You know, kind of the face is that one up there. That one. So I, and, you know, we have a. This one's going to be kind of a uh, spiral pattern. But we are going to take the pivot point. I'm going to do insert. I'm going to move it up a bit. And I'm going to do R, shift. Shift G, shift G, shift G, shift G. So now we're going to go up. They kind of have to curve around and go up now. Then we're going to go to the side view, which I realize I should put back to wireframe. It's going to have to go up a little bit. Or you know what? Let's get the let's get the shape down. But I'm going to extrude a little bit from that face. And now we're just going to do uh, the same thing. Insert that pivot point. Move it over. R. Shift G, shift G, shift G, shift G. This is kind of like a weird looking curve thing. We have this gap right here that we can uh, work with. And then...
going to go into transform, drag it over. Now you see it is not uh, lined up, but what I can do is grab this face. What I can do is grab this face and uh, how about I grab the uh, these vertices. I think that'd be better for me to do. And I also think uh, just so there's not like anything weird going on. I'm just going to add a horizontal cut like there. Uh, that shouldn't really uh, do anything. But you know, I want to be able to drag over these edges without creating some weird uh, topology. So let's grab these edges. Transform. And you know what? There you go, that makes it easier. Got these edges, let's bring them over to where our cube is. And it seems like we are slightly off. Uh, that should be enough. Let's go to uh, Shift Z, front view. I mean, width-wise, that kind of looks okay. I'm not seeing any issues. So I'm just going to select this face, do delete. And obviously I need to bring it up a little bit. So do Shift-Z, side view. Now we don't want to select these edges in the back. To think it automatically select them, yeah. Now, as you can see, this is kind of a bad topology over here. Like, this is a lot of extra vertices that we probably do not need. Probably should have just done it this way. I'm just going to do the old tried and true method of selecting crap until I get it. I'm just going to use uh, control and left click to deselect the things I do not want. Let's go into wireframe actually. So I know I want these. I want those. Which it seems to have. Uh, Missed some. I think it's missed a lot actually. Nothing wrong about doing it this way. Let me just drag that around and make sure that looks all good.
That looks to be on the same level. Yep. Or, you know, close enough, I guess. But a neat little way to uh, fix this is let's just grab these edges here. Whoops. So there we go, we got the uh, our way up. So let's go over here, shift right click at the ladder. Go into, uh, let's go into our wireframe mode from the uh, top. Here, I'm going to make my uh, brush size bigger. There's a kind of diagonal. I think I had overlap, so hopefully overlap is okay. Oh, uh, stuff. I am going to make. It's a little bit shorter. No, I don't think the player is going to have any trouble getting into this one. Uh, that one's kind of a way steeper curve than uh, the ones I had here. But I'm afraid that there might be like an issue when the player is trying to get up. So I am going to make a uh, diagonal piece. So let's move that in there. And then let's scale it on the local axis, which is that way for some reason. I don't know why its base is over here. Little, a little weird, but you know, whatever. Make them go up, move them up, I mean that seems good enough to me. I'm working at 90 degrees. 
Drag them into there. I mean, that seems good enough. So now the uh, counter terrorist can, you know, get a spawn, go right on over, go up, up over there. And uh, one thing I just kind of realized is I think I'm going to have it that you can't see. Like, that's like the only way up, but you, you'll be able to see from over here. Uh, it's kind of a, uh, you know, risky area. So I'm just going to create a cube. I'm just going to do a uh, size of 32. You know, let's drag that across. It's going to go up. And you know what? I think I'm actually going to try searching for a glass material. Ooh, probably not that. What's a nice looking glass? Not that one. That is opaque. Should have read what it said. Yeah, that looks quite good. And one idea I was going to have So what I'm going to do is select all of these faces in here.
So let's do it with uh, objects. Oops. So I'm going to select these objects here. I'm just going to hide them. Pushing H. And now I can go into uh, face select and not have it spaz out. Or, you know, edge select instead. And I highlighted some things I did not want to highlight. I was going to do Shift T. Align in the grid. And then it's going to go in myself. Uh, you know what? I'm not going to do that. Because that seems uh, to not be as good as I thought it was. Let's go into object mode. Let's select and bring him over. I probably don't need you know what how about I make him a tube light So we got that there. Let's go into top down view. I need to make it obvious it's not a dead end. So I'm going to move the light there. Also rotate it to match the rotation of this area. That way the player can uh, be here and see that there's light down there. And then I go over here. Let's once again duplicate it. Rotate it. Bring it up.
Whoops. Now I'll make this select the object. Let's make him a uh, point light. So we got him. Let's bring this guy over. Make him centered. Stick him back a little bit. So now you can see that the player can uh, make their way through. And uh, I did find out why this face is all, uh, these faces are all weird. Let's select all these. Let's go for Y cuts. Let's go for like 10. All right, well, did something. Because
we're going to create an instance of this uh, object. That way, you know, if I place it here and I go to like instance editing mode, you know, drag the light around, it does it on all of them. But I don't need that instance there. So, because of my poor planning earlier, I now have the tedious process of going through and connecting all these vertices. Which I must enter. Whoops. This mode. Let's place those in. Let's see, we got that. We got that instance there. Let's go to our top down perspective. We have our instance. Let's drag that over top of the ones we don't want anymore. Oops. Bring them up. Same for these over here. Put that there. So now I got that with uh, instances. So I'd say we got that area quite good. Just for consistency, let's select uh, these faces in here. And you know what, I'm not gonna do that. So now we have uh, this area. 
And uh, one thing I'm going to check, actually. Is I just want to see uh, if the ladders work. Let's look at a uh, path tracing just one time. Now this area is obviously quite dark, but this all seems uh, quite fine to me. So I am gonna compile this map, and I'll be back with you guys shortly.